Hi everyone, welcome to Molly's Tarot. We are going to do a current energy romantic love reading for you for the next seven to 10 days. So this reading consists of a brief look at the recent past, just to give us an idea of where things are at. Then we look at the current energy, the near future energy, and the outcome or you know that type of predictive energy for the spread. So let's get started. And we're gonna do Aries all the way through Pisces. This is a absolutely a reading where you can look at multiple placements. You can look at your rising or moon, Venus, etc. Um, I suggest not cross-watching, but you know, hey, that's up to you. Because, you know, when when we cross watch then and then we watch every single placement, you know, it, it's it kind of defeats the message. You know, I mean, if the message is there, the message is there, <laughs> you know, kind of deal. All right. So let's get started. We're going to start with Aries and see what's going on for you. All right. So tell me about Aries, please. What can they expect? Aries, sun, moon, rising, Venus, any placement. What is uh, coming in for Aries? A little predictive energy, near future, that sort of thing. What is going on for Aries watching this video romantically? Thank you. Okay, so we have the Strength card and the Queen of Swords. Possible Leo energy showing up here. Doesn't have to be, though. <clears throat> Sagittarius energy. Oh, oh, Aries. Okay, so you actually do have, you do have some energy going on here. Um, hmm. I feel like there could be a couple different options coming your way. There's at least one that I see, possible, possibly even two. All right, so recent past, the Strength card and the Queen of Swords, a lot of um, either healing or just gaining confidence, again, something along those lines. There could have been a Leo, literally, for some of you with the Strength card here, but regardless of their sign, the Queen of Swords is now getting curious, I feel. So you could be in communication with someone or about to be in communication with someone is what I am seeing here. Uh, with the Temperance and the Ace of Pentacles, there's a strong message here too. For those of you who are doing, I would say like online dating, that sort of thing with the Queen of Swords here, to be patient for the right offer. So I would assume, I don't know, I haven't done online dating in like a bazillion years. So, but I would assume that it, you know, if you don't really have much going on, that it's kind of tempting to talk to whomever comes along kind of deal, you know, I, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> this is just suggesting to be like patient and you know, really make sure that this is, you know, don't settle for players or, you know, if that if if that's not what you're looking for, you know, that kind of thing with the temperance and the ace of pentacles. But the good thing is that this is suggesting that there is going to be a solid um, potential that is coming towards you here. In the near future, you have the two of pentacles and the knight of wands, again, suggesting someone coming in here. <sighs> and this is where it's a little difficult. I don't know if it's going to be two people because you have the emperor as well. And so you have kind of two people cards here. So this could either be one person who is possibly older, but they are coming towards you with like young enthusiasm. You know, they're they're not um, like a fuddy-duddy or, you know, something like that. I, I don't even know why I use that word. That's such a like outdated word, whatever, you know, but they're, they're someone who's going to be youthful, energetic, excited, pursuant, that sort of thing. If it's two different people, then I, I feel that you're going to have two choices. You're going to have kind of a, a fun, magnetic type energy that's coming towards you, but that might be what you always go for. And then there's going to be someone who's possibly like a little bit older, but that is like more stable, more chill, you know, that sort of thing. So it could be options with this two of pentacles, but I do see action coming in for you for sure. Um, let's see, let's put a card on, on each. Tell me about this Knight of Wands, please, for Aries. Knight of Wands. Because, you know, the Knight of Wands doesn't always have to be a player. It could just be someone who's very pursuant. <laughs> you know, that, that's, nothing wrong with that, right? Well, unless they're very, very annoyingly pursuant, I guess. Uh, let's see. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. Okay. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, see, they're not sure how... I, I get the sense that this is actually one person. For some of you, it may be two. All right, one of you, it could be somebody even like around a similar work environment as you. Okay, if it is two different people. But I'm leaning more towards this as one person and that they 
they they are into you, but they're not sure like how you are going to react. So let's see if this person will actually reach out. Okay, so tell me about this emperor. Tell me about the emperor. Now the emperor could be you because it is the card for Aries. And especially like if you are male energy, then I would say, you know, this is a reading where you are, you're weighing out uh, connecting with someone this, this up, upcoming like seven to 10 days. So you may decide to move forward with the Knight of Wands or may not if you are a male energy watching this. Okay. But tell me about this emperor for those uh, who this would be a pursuant male. Tell me about the uh, emperor. Tell me about the emperor, please. Will they be like connecting, reaching out? What? Tell me about this emperor. Ooh, seven of swords. Yeah, see, they're afraid they're not going to get their wish with you. All right, that's what I see. The seven of swords, the five of pentacles, and then the nine of cups. I feel like this is someone that that is very into you. and But they are afraid to approach, maybe because of the, the age difference. Because I do feel there is an age difference here. It's It's just kind of coming to mind here. Let's see, what else? There could also be distance challenges that make them think, oh, that's just a pipe dream. This will never happen or something like that. So what is the advice? What is the advice for Aries? Why, like, why is this being shown? If this, this person is just having doubts and not approaching, what is the advice for Aries? Okay, so you have the nine of wands. Yeah, you've been through it lately, that's for sure. The tower, okay. And the four of wands, this, wow, and the ace of cups. So if you are a male Aries, there may be someone who you are highly attracted to that you think about a lot, but you may like feel like, oh, that'll never happen or that, that can't happen. I would say instead of just sitting around thinking about it, have a breakthrough and go for it. All right. The four of wands is here. So, you know, and the tower. All right. The nine of wands is when we just do the same thing day after day after day after day. Right. And, and keep hoping like something, <clears throat> you know, happens. The tower is more of a breakthrough. The four of wands is a, a commitment type energy and it's a stable commitment. So I would say if you're a male, like I would say pursue it. You know, it may be that person, maybe not, but who knows, maybe just that action will show the universe that you're, you're, not afraid to put yourself out there and then the right person will come along if it isn't this person. I do feel it could be this person though. Yeah, with the eight, oh my gosh, yes, oh my gosh, the ace of cups and the star card here at the bottom of the deck as well. Um, for female Aries, regardless of gender that you are interested in, uh, I would say the advice is to hold steady for what you're really looking for. If what you're looking for is to like live with someone, have a committed relationship or possibly get married, something along those lines, then, you know, do not entertain things that do not fit that bill. You know, that that's, that's the advice I see. But I do see that there will be someone pursuant towards you. Okay. Uh, all right. So let's move to Taurus. Taurus. All right. Taurus, please. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, any placement? Romantic predictions, please, for Taurus. Ooh. All right. Okay, Taurus. Ooh, Taurus. So you have an overall energy of the Nine of Cups that wanted to come out right away. So the Nine of Cups is definitely about um, manifestation, a wish that you have been working on. You know, you may be granted some sort of wish in the next seven to 10 days here. Or if you haven't been hoping or in that, that manifestation mode, get to it uh, because then it's like universe can bring something to you. It's a very strong and auspicious card to be coming out right at the beginning. So it's a very, very hopeful card. Okay. So tell me about Taurus, please. What is ahead for Taurus? Thank you. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. <clears throat> All 
Okay, as usual, Aries and Taurus running very close together on this channel. All right, very similar type of message here that Aries receives. So if you have Aries in your chart, you may want to check that as well. Um, yeah, I think a lot of you, you're, you're ready for like a new situation. It's like you've kind of mourned like what hasn't worked out or possibly mourned or like uh, healed over a situation, possibly a, a breakup or something from the past, what have you, that, that kept you stuck. So I do feel like you are starting to like come around to like, well, it's it's like, I don't know. I feel like there, there's a bit of energy here of, eh, you know, I don't know if I really believe in love anymore or, oh, it's all the same out there or something along those lines. Or there's an on ongoing situation that just drags on with you, possibly with an on and off person. If that's the case, I would say, mm -mm, you know, that that is not working for you. All right. With the seven of wands, 10 of swords here, and then bottom of the deck with the ace of wands is suggesting new. All right. New. It is suggesting taking action. It is also, there's a strong message here. If you are a male energy, that if again, which was in the Aries reading, that if there is someone that you are, you know, constantly thinking about and thinking about reaching out to or reconnecting with whatever it may be it, it like nothing's going to happen if you keep blocking your heart and not doing anything about it so it is suggesting to do something about it uh, absolutely with the ace of wands which is taking action but if you are a female energy all right watching this video regardless of the gender that you are interested in it, it's just I do get this sense that there's um there's either been something recently or in the past that's really kind of just kept you stuck about how you view love and how you feel about love. And I feel like a little bit of that, of, of that is still lingering within you, but someone's going to be reaching out here. Someone's going to be trying to get your attention. Now, I want to stress here, if this is someone from that, that constantly puts you into this sort of moodiness or questioning love or on off, like false hope, you know, kind of situation or something like that, then I, I feel like it's it's something to not embrace, not go for um, as much as you, you both may have a lot in common or uh, something that like keeps bind, you know, bonding you together. It just doesn't feel like it's the right situation <clears throat> because the, the real energetic movement isn't behind this, all right? If it's someone from the past, if it's someone new, I feel like it's something that's worth giving a shot. Like, do not shoot somebody down right away um, based on um, jadedness or self-sabotage or something like that. Let something come through because you have the Nine of Cups here that, that fell out basically right at the beginning of your reading. The Nine of Cups is about manifestation, wishes coming true, that sort of thing. And you do have the Two of Cups and the Six of Cups in the near future. So these two can be harmonious. Again, if it's a past person, mm, I'm a little hesitant with that, or an on-off person, or this like kind of, you know, where, where we gotta be realistic with ourselves about someone, like have we just like kind of pined away for someone that's not really realistic, you know, if that's like, it's not ever coming together. If that's the case, that is the kind of energy to block and end because it, it's time to think about new, all right? It's time to let something go and think about new. Oh yeah, yes, yes, because that's five of cups and then, yeah, then we have the knight of swords, strength and temperance. So it's like, that is, okay, for some of you too, like if you've been like kind of a little bit, hmm, suffering in some way, psychologically, physically, things like that, um, it's like there's, there's something about this situation that actually has has contributed to that de defeatist energy. And it's like, there's a big wake up call here to realize that Be because there's something about getting your energy back because it was given too much to a situation that was like a karmic situation here. And it could literally be affecting like your energy in some way, physically, mentally, you know, that kind of thing. And it is time to like 
let go of that really I, you know and I, I know it's easy for me to say sitting on this side of the table but but really you know find find whatever you know all the resources you can throw it all at it you know self-help books uh, videos you know whatever you you need to um, move past this this situation because it's actually um, universe is saying oh my god it is time for you to regain your strength and it's like be patient and and make sure that you are taking the right offers and things like that but it is time for you to regain your strength here because it's like universe really wants to wake you up to new things new manifestations new energy here not this like five of cups listening to you know songs that make you sad and, and you know things like that uh-uh you know or or the eight of swords you know keeping you trapped and holding on to somebody that that it's just not working out. So there's something about that, the, a stuck relationship or a stuck holding on to something that is actually physically and mentally keeping you like stuck is is what I'm seeing. So these angels, you know, the, these angels are here to show you how strong you are and to heal you. And that's what I see. That's why the nine of cups fell out. They want you to get into this energy, manifesting new energy here. So really nice, okay. Uh, let's move to, uh-oh, uh-oh, <laughs> I dropped, I dropped somebody, let's see, <clears throat> nope, there you are, yeah, I, I, Taurus, I, I literally, I can see, it. I gotta pull it with my foot, I dropped the two of cups, and, and I know I was just joking, I said, uh-oh, I dropped somebody, but, I mean, ah, uh, there we go, how fitting is that, it, it's time to drop there's some kind of like connection to someone that that you're very comfortable with or that there there's a lot of like oh but it could be so great or something like that but it's 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 not and it's actually a, like not not doing you any favors right now is what i'm seeing uh okay so let's move to uh that was taurus uh so we are on gemini's okay gemini's let's see what we have for you gemini please Okay, whoops. Okay, Gemini. Cards are very stiff. They take me a minute to shuffle. Uh, oh, whoop, what just turned around? Five of Cups. Okay. Oh, all right. Uh, let's see. Stay away from like music that makes you sad, Gemini's, or or too nostalgic or something like that right now. Um, I feel like it's it's not it's not really helping things. Um, just because I just saw the Five of Cups flip around, and and in this particular deck they have like a guitar, and it always reminds me of you know somebody who's like you know, listening to, to songs that remind them of someone or, you know, something like that, like not, not to be doing that right now. It's probably not helping anything. All right. Is, is the message I get from that. Um, okay. So let's see what's up with Gemini's please. What is coming in for the Gemini's out there? Any placement? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. There's something about thinking about someone that's causing you this conflict. All right. So, um, I do see some good energy coming in, but let's, let's get to this real quick. Okay. So the seven of cups and the king of pentacles showing up in the recent past. Um, oh my God, that's so funny. <laughs> in the, in the seven of cups, it looks like a pot leaf coming out of there, doesn't it? <laughs> it's a psychedelic deck. I don't know. Maybe it is. Um, it's just kind of funny. It, it just caught my eye there. Um, oh, it is. Oh, my God. Because look at... Oh, that's so funny. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Um, <clears throat> okay. So the recent past, it's it's like... It looks like there were, there's a lot of uh, smoke and mirrors, like fogginess in like your head. Like, you know, possibly because of this king of pentacles. So it could be an earth sign male. doesn't have to be. Um, but it, it's like... I don't know, like a lot of like wondering, like, oh, do they think about me? Or, oh, does this person, you know, do they still love me? Or, you know, thinking about these things that just add to the confusion of like your your own clarity. Like they kind of steal your energy in a way. You know, it's like when when 
you know, it's like we want to we want to we want to gain clarity and we want to be strong, you know, in our thoughts and in our hearts and on our spiritual connections and all those types of things. But when we're like wondering about someone else and like their energy and like, what are they doing? Oh, do they still think about me? Um, you know, do they want me back? Do they want this? Do they want, you know, that kind of thing? It's like, A, it's putting a lot of energy on that person. Um, and B, it's stealing from your energy as well. Because instead of like putting out all these confusing, you know, type thoughts, you could be get receiving more clarity in. And, you know, one of the, that's a common question, you know, that I get as a tarot reader, like, are they still thinking about me? Uh, you know, do they want me back? You know, things like that. And one of my go-to answers with that without even looking at tarot cards is typically, I mean, it, it's it's one of those things that can be solved logically in a, in a way, mostly, not all the time, not everything, you know, especially around romance is logical. But typically, I mean, if somebody's thinking about us um, or desiring us or wanting us back, they're usually making the action to do that because you would, right? You know, so it, it's, it's sort of like a um, those types of questions kind of just fill up your mind and 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 steal away from your time and your energy that you could be using to to move forward or or you know think more positive um, aspirate of more positive aspirations is is what I'm seeing here because it's causing you know it's causing a conflict with you with the five of wands here in the current energy and the um, uh, seven of cups here so and it, it could even be causing like arguments or um, you know conflict around other situations that aren't even related to this. Maybe there could be even conflicts at work because we're carrying around this energy of smoke and mirror, you know, confusion in our head. So we're not clear. We're not receiving our, our, our beautiful guidance that, that we typically get. And so I do feel it's causing like problems, this male. All right. Thinking about this male, wondering about this male, or, or just, <clears throat> you know, this male in general is just causing problems for you in, in different areas of your life. So the, the um, seven of cups, I'm sorry, eight of cups, I think I said seven of cups earlier. The eight of cups is more about letting go of that emotional, uh, you know, black cloud the best that we can and start moving towards the things that we can do. And I, one of those things I feel like you will be moving towards is a lot more, a lot of uh, stability. So like career, things like that look look decent from what I'm seeing here, or at least, you know, focusing on those types of things. So, cause there's, there's definitely some drama or a conflict or, now this could be also your person. I don't know if it's necessarily you. This could be your person and the energy that they're throwing onto you. So, you know, and it's like when we're aware of that, because if somebody sits around and thinks about somebody all the time, you know, so let's say it's them thinking about you, wondering those things about you. Well, that energy is on you too. So you might be like wondering like, oh God, why do I feel so heavy? Or why do I feel like, like, um, like I want to argue with my coworkers or something? It could be because this person's energy is coming on, you know, so strong to you that it's, it's, you know, your subtlety, your subtle body notices it and is annoyed or, you know, puts you in this energy, you know, that type of thing. So I would say do your best to resolve any types of of situations that that you can within yourself all right you may not be able to resolve it with this person or what have you right now but it's like resolving it within yourself because that's exactly what the eight of cups is about it's not letting emotions be like your guide in life you know it's like yes they do serve a purpose but this is about like you know bringing more of letting that stuff go so that you can move forward, especially with the fool card. Because I feel like this person's gonna do the same old thing, same old thing, same old thing. And and you with the fool card need to set yourself free from you know this pattern <clears throat> that this person pulls you into or that you get pulled into even unwittingly. All right. So it's like the fool card is absolutely about freeing yourself, letting yourself um you know, take, take a little bit of an adventure for yourself, whatever that can be, you know, even if it's just for, you know, uh, <laughs> you know, what came to mind was, um, 
Parks and Rec, the TV show. I don't know how many of you are familiar with it, but but there's always a segment on there that they have called Treat Yourself. And it's like um, they go and they just treat themselves to something. Like, well, basically they do it all day long and it's it's absolutely ridiculously lavish and all these things. But, but you know, even if it's like just one thing, you know, get away, take a hike by yourself, uh, you know, uh, do something that you want to do by yourself. And it's like free yourself from this person's energy because – they they just keep repeating a cycle over and over and over and over again. All right. And you have the hanged man here. The hanged man is about looking at things from different perspectives also. Um, and it's like, I don't think there's anything about this that you have to, you know, like, oh, well, maybe I need to see this King of Pentacles from this perspective or that perspective. I don't think it's about that. I think it's about you seeing yourself from different perspectives. And seeing, like, how this may be affecting your day-to-day -day, um, role and things like that. Because there's absolutely something here about setting yourself free, for sure. Yeah, because this person will just keep, like, oh my god, yeah, it's just like a back and forth thing with, like, keep doing the same thing. Yeah, until you get, until you get into this energy, Queen of Swords, Ace of Swords, where you just, you, you realize that you are in control of what comes around you, what, what you let into your auric field, what you allow, you know, people to get away with or say, and things like that. You know, Queen of Swords, Ace of Swords is very kick-ass in respect to that. She cuts out things that, you know, or he, whatever, you know, that, that do not work work, all right, and do not serve her highest good, and she gets to the truth and clarity of situations. So I feel you're getting there, and I would bet by the end of this month, like going into March, things are going to look a lot clearer for you, is is what my, my guess is with this. Um, okay, so that was uh, Gemini. We are on to, we are on to Cancers. All right, Cancers, let's see what's going on for you. <clears throat> Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Any placement? Ooh, the World card just flew out, Cancers. So overall energy, we'll take that as an overall energy card. So the World card is about new things, new cycles, um, completion or nearing a completion of a cycle. Uh, let's see, what else do we have for you? Cancers, please. Okay, Cancer. Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, Cancer Rising, Cancer Venus. What is the upcoming message for Cancers, please? <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, a little, little similar to Gemini's message, actually, but a little different. Not really. Actually, it's very similar. So maybe that's just the kind of energy going around in this next seven to 10 days. And that makes sense with a full moon. Um, or, you know, we'll be coming off of that by the time, you know, this, this type of stuff starts coming into fruition. So you have the judgment and you have the chariot card in the recent past. Two major arcana cards. You have a lot of major arcana cards in this spread. So this is a pretty important message, I feel, uh, when we have that many major arcanas. That's, that's usually, uh, there's something to it, right? So the judgment, and the chariot. So recent past, you have decided to mm, either reinvi in, reinvigorate yourself in some way, or you're making a judgment call to break through obstacles and be victorious no matter what. I think that's good because you have really good energy in this current energy. Uh, some of you possibly have been doing a lot of journaling or um, maybe even took a short trip and got inspired or there's a particular cancer um, chariot card here that uh, gave you some words of wisdom or, you know, something like that going on. All right. Um, in the current energy, you have the Ace of Swords and the Fool card. So if you are or have Gemini high in your chart, you may want to watch that reading as well, all right, because these two um, came out in that reading also. But the Ace of Swords and Fool showing up in the current energy, this could be a couple different things. So if it is related to, let me just say this so that I don't have to keep talking about that part, and then we'll talk about it from a different perspective, because there's also a possibility this is a new person coming in. But if you are, if you have Gemini and you're watching, 
watching that Gemini reading as well, the message is the same. The message is to clear this out of your energy for sure, because again, and um, it could be a Leo with the sun card here, uh, but you know, whomever this is that they appear to make you happy, it, it's just smoke and mirrors. It, there, there's a lot of smoke and mirrors around this and, and that smoke will clear and you'll see this situation for what it is. All right, that's that's the message I see there. All right, so now I'm going to go away from that message and we're gonna go back to um, if Gemini is not in your chart. Okay, so I would say with the Ace of Swords and the Fool card Cancers that this is a chance to get really clear about what it is like you want. I would say someone may be coming towards you with the Fool card, you had the World card fall out at the very beginning of this reading, and you have the Fool card. So both of these in like go in the actual tarot order of things. It's like the tarot, you know, the major arcana ends with the World card, kind of showing that the cycle has been completed, and then starts anew with the Zero, the Fool card, you know, which is like a clean slate and things up ahead for you. So there's definitely a strong message here that you know some of you. Have have made a judgment call to clear some energy here, break free with your card showing up right here, you know, the chariot card, and deciding to have a new beginning. And yes, I feel like that is is very a very good decision, providing you stick with it. Okay, because I do feel like there's still like a tempting sort of energy here. Now, one thing I would say too is to um uh, if there was a need to like kind of cut someone out of your life recently or cut out a behavior or like a something along those lines. Make sure that whomever comes along next isn't just fitting that same bill, but in a different disguise, you know, kind of thing. I, I would say just like really be diligent about what you're looking for, what, you know, those kinds of things. I feel there can be happiness here. Um, and it may be a Capricorn, the devil card. You know, the devil card isn't always a devil. You know, it could be a Capricorn that is coming in here that you're sort of not sure about. <clears throat> but it's like, you know, they, they're mysterious. They're intriguing to you. All right. So for some of you, this could be a new connection. This person's taking a leap of faith towards you. They see you. They like what you what you you have to offer here. And you're you. I feel like you're just a little not sure about this person. Like, uh, is this person good for me, or is this going to be like the same old thing? I would say stay open minded. Let's see what the advice is. So, all right. I mean, if it's a past person or, like I said, somebody that constantly leaves you in the smoke and mirrors kind of sitch, no, you know. Also, too, I'm getting strongly. Some of you, if... <laughs> I hate to say this because it sounds so judgy. And, I, you know, I, I don't mean to sound like a um, teetotaler or anything like that. But, uh, you know, this Seven of Cups does have a couple references uh, sort of to, like, weed or whatever. So it's like... and. It's like if you have to sort of get there in order to go out with people or that, like there's something about that that needs to be done with. All right. It's holding you back. All right. With the devil card here in the world, because the devil card can also mean overcoming bad habits or what have you. So I'm I'm not preachy in any way. I, I hey, you know, do what you want to do. You know, that kind of thing. I, I'm, 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 you know, it's not me saying this it's like the cards are alluding to this too that that could be what's keeping you back or keeping you stuck all right um any advice please tell me about this ace of swords and fool card for cancers please because there is definitely a being set free here that's available in the current energy like a new start available uh, that could make you really happy. All right, so tell me about this Ace of Swords and the Fool card, please. Okay, Four Swords, all right. The Empress. The Seven of Swords. Ooh. Yeah, see, somebody may be thinking about you, but they never make a decision towards you. The Tower and the Moon. Okay. Yeah, this is a time to... Oh, I didn't see that one. Yeah, the Star in Reverse. Okay. So I'll keep that in Reverse. All right, um... So the Ace of Swords and the Fool card, 
it's like this is made available to you, like to cut some things out that are not good, take a leap of faith, go towards new things, let people, you know, ask you out too, because sometimes we have walls up, all right, because I, I do feel like that could, could be a little bit, there's a little escapism here as well, all right, and it's like, especially night, I feel is like there's someone who either thinks about you like a lot, but they don't do anything about it. All right, that's what I'm seeing. Um, the moon, the star reverse, the seven of swords, this um, four of swords where they're thinking about it but not actually doing anything, that sort of thing. So, like, if that's you, well, I mean, I don't know what much is going to change, you know, in this scenario. The universe is saying that the option is here to cut some things out and be free and start new things or you know, stay in the energy of doing the same thing, the same patterns, hoping for some kind of breakthrough to happen, but not really taking the actions needed to bring upon a breakthrough, um, getting too too deep into the mind of things and allowing uh, small depressions or, you know, things like that to come in that, that, that we, you know, uh, weed away at like your dreams. Don't get into that energy. All right. Don't, don't get stagnant and just like sit around and think of, you know, music you know, I see all these music notes, you know, sit around and think of like, oh, you know, the good old days or, you know, that kind of stuff. Like that's not doing anybody any favors is, is what I see. And that's funny because I said that to Gemini's as well. So again, these two running very similar. So there's uh, the clear message I see here is for those of you who do not have like a stuckness issue or um, a sub, like a pretty heavy, not heavy, but like a substance uh, issue that could be keeping you stuck from pursuing things. For those of you who do not have that, I feel there is a new start coming for you and it's going to be, um, it's going to be like new and fun and somebody's coming, you know, in f towards your energy soon. All right. Maybe a Capricorn. All right. Um, I would say within the next two weeks, it looks like there's going to be some kind of new interest here, but you're unsure about this person. All right. So yeah, we'll see. Um, Others of you, I mean, it's, it's, the advice is, like I said, you know, I mean, we can stay stuck in the same old, same old, and, you know, the outcome's the devil card, you know, choosing, like, attachments, choosing addictions, choosing stuckness, choosing mindsets, you know, over choosing happiness and new starts and fresh starts with things. All right. Um, okay, let's see. Let's go to Oops, Cancer. Let's go to Leo. All right, Leos. Let's see what's up for you. Leo, please. Leo. Leo. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Leos. These cards are just so thick and, like, hard to handle, so <laughs> bear with me. <laughs> I like to get them mixed up here so we get a little bit different uh, different cards coming out. All right. Uh, one more. Okay. All right, Leo. Let's see what the message is for you. Leo's. sure if this is love or work or what but I do see an increase <laughs> if it's if it's work or career there could be some sort of like bonus um coming to you soon or some kind of raise or something to go for all right where it will be more money all right so there's that message <laughs> okay um but I will focus on romantic love because that's what this reading is but there is that message if if this is like not much is going on in the love sector well I do feel like there is something improving or an opportunity for you to improve um, or go after something uh, that could definitely generate more money here. Okay, so recent past, you have the Nine of Wands and the Five of Wands. Eh, you know, it's like there's a lot of um, same old, same old here, some kind of drama or just somebody adding confusion to the mix, maybe even arguing or fighting with the Five of Wands. Um, it's just uh, a whole lot of, blah. <laughs> you know, nobody wants that, right? Um
Yeah, there's somebody here that's just like, uh, what's, what's the word? Stubborn? And I, I, you know, I know that's like the typical thing to go to, like, Leah, you know, I, I don't like the stereotypes. Um, I don't, it's not you. That's what I, I feel like there's someone you've been dealing with that's like stubborn. And it's like almost purposeful to, to um, create a bunch of confusion or drama or something like that. All right. Um, I don't think they mean to do it on purpose. Maybe they do. I don't know. But it's like just kind of the only way they know how to live. All right. So this person, whoever this is, it's like they're used to arguing. They're used to um, fighting and confusion and dramas and things like that. So maybe that's the way they grew up. So they just expect like that's the way like things are or something along those lines is what I'm getting is going on here. Um, you are not about it. <laughs> that's what I see because you have the judgment card and the queen of wands. You are looking towards new opportunities. So it's like you've made a judgment call or are about to. All right. Cause this is current energy, the, this position of the reading. So if you're not there yet, I, it, it's like, it, you know, most likely very soon, I feel that many of you will be making this judgment call, this discernment here to like, no, you know, that's, that's not my story. Um, with with the judgment here and it is it's good it's a good thing that's a it's a good time to do that um because judgment is very much tied into divine timing and opportunity to make big decisions and changes in your life so with the queen of wands it's like she's she's turned away from this the way i'm looking at this on the table she's looking towards these other good cards which are coming in and turned away from whatever that was okay because she's made that judgment call to mm -mm, no so it's like you're looking forward to something else now you have this page of pentacles and the hermit showing up in the, I, you know what, there's, there, I feel like there's um, an opportunity to study something or an opportunity that you may just get some good news or something to apply for, something like that that's going to be um, very good money-wise because I noticed this page of, of pentacles and the hermit are a very deep green, right? And then you have the, this like six of pentacles, which is about receiving money. Um, normally I'd go with heart chakra, you know, when I see green, that's always a favorite uh, go-to of mine, but this is a different type of green and it makes me think of more like, well, and it's, it is earthly, you know, earth energy. So I do feel like there's something that you guys are looking at to study, um, or you are, you're like, somebody may throw out like an idea to you or something like that, but there's a lot of wisdom in it and it could lead to something very lucrative for you. All right. That's what I'm seeing now. It may not be that significant, all right? It could even be possibly you like helping one of your children or something like that study something or giving more time to that situation, you know, something along those lines. But, and it could be a date, quite frankly, because the Page of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles can be date cards to me as well. For some reason, I feel like this has to do with money though, all right? And I know I said I'd stay away from that and just go on the romantic side of things because since it's a romantic reading, but... My instincts are saying this has more to do with money than it does about romance. But for those of you who are okay in that situation, sure, it can indicate a date uh, coming in. Um, this person also, I would say, is uh, uh, a little bit of a loner type, but has like a lot of wisdom. All right. And they are also generous and will most likely like take you to, you know, a nice place for dinner or, you know, something along those lines. Like they want to treat you. OK, is what I would say if it is romantic. But for most of you, I feel like this is something like an opportunity that you're going to be more focused on and it's going to bring you in more money. OK, so. Uh, let's see. That was Leo. We are on Virgos. OK, Virgo, let's see what's up. Oh, Virgo. I just saw two kings. I hope it's not one of those readings. Okay, let's see. Okay, Virgo, please. Virgo, sun, moon, Virgo rising, and Venus. What is the message, please, for Virgos? Current energy, romantic love message, please, for Virgo. So you have the Magician and the Eight of Pentacles in the recent past. All right. So definitely working on something here or thinking about like new opportunities, business opportunities, that sort of thing. Okay.
All right, so recent past magician and the eight of pentacles. I don't know, there's something here either, because it doesn't seem too love related yet, but you do have a three of swords in this reading. So you know what, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna go around this. I, before I, I start, I'm gonna clarify uh, a couple things. All right, uh, let's see. It's like a bittersweet message. It's like there's something really good, and then there's something that's sort of like, eh. Uh. <laughs> so let's see. Let's see what that's about. Okay, Virgo, please. What is going on for Virgo romantic uh, current energy, please? What's going on for Virgo's current energy romance? The magician twice. Wow. Okay. And the knight of swords again. Tell me about this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. And then an improvement. All right, you've got a really weird situation here. It's like there's, it's a, it's a roller coaster -y thing is what I'm seeing. You have the magician twice. All right, clarifying the magician and the eight of pentacles here. So, I mean, definitely something going on in the recent past where it's like, okay, you know, I'm going to manifest something. I'm going to um, use all the tools I have on my table and get something going here. This could be something about a business possibly because I don't feel like this is necessarily love yet. And unless it, you're with someone who is just like, all about their work and they're not really um, super like emotionally available. All right. So that's possible. All right. So it could have been like a little bit that somebody was just really into work and not really um, emotionally around. Well, hmm. you have in the current energy, the sun and the six of wands. But it's clarified by the Knight of Swords, which you also have in this reading further, um, and the Nine of Swords. You know what I'm seeing? I'm seeing there's something here possibly about a false confidence. All right. Because the Sun and the Six of Wands are typically like good cards, you know, like, and so someone may be like really happy. Someone may feel really confident, um, feel like, okay, I manifested this and, and everything's good, you know, and the Sun is out and, you know, that that's a victory. All right. But behind the scenes, though, Knight of Swords and Nine of Swords is a lot of mental um, anxiety, uh, turmoil going on here. So I'm not really sure what the, the, we're going to get some advice cards. I'm hoping that will help clear this up a little bit. Um, <clears throat> You have the, because you have the Ace of Swords and the Three of Swords, which that's why I wanted to do this whole clarification on this reading. Uh, because the Ace of Swords is a great card, but the Three of Swords is, uh, again, that, you know, it's like the Ace, like the bittersweet thing here. It's like, yes, there's a victory, but damn, you know, there's something here that's a little bit painful with the situation. So, and the cards that clarify it are something about some news coming in. Now, it's, hmm. You know, this could be if it's, I don't know if it's a romantic thing. Let me get a couple romance angels. Your, your reading's just odd. So I'm not really getting why it's kind of all. I do see this. Here's what I do see is like, you kind of think things are back on track, but then something may come back up. All right. And it, it's, it's like someone could be um, argumentative. Someone could be pressuring you. Um, someone could be bringing up old habits to you. Um, it's like, there's something like that's, that, that someone has a lot of mental, like turmoil. So it looks like sunshine, sun, sunshine and roses and victory here. And in a sense, like it may be for you, because maybe you are finally, you're letting go of like a third party situation or someone who just, you know, um, was not the healthiest, you know, situation for you or something like that, but they, they won't take no for an, you know, maybe they keep coming back around or, and even though you, you've moved on and you're trying to get your confidence back, like they just keep coming back or something like that. Yeah. Release your ex. Yeah. And, and then engagement and wedding. Okay. So you know what it is? It could be like you hear about someone who's getting married. Yeah, you know, like right when you get your confidence up and you're ready to move on from something and like you get some news like, oh my God, really? They're getting married? Or, you know, something like that. And it's like difficult to take. Um, or 
there's, you know, there could clearly be some kind of third party situation that you are trying to cut out of your life and not engage in. But it's like, again, like they, it, like the, you know, it, uh, not universe. I don't think it's, you know, this person keeps testing your patience. They keep coming back and, you know, kind of poking the bear in some way. I mean, because the cards you have, you have release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. All right. And then there's like this engagement and wedding card that show up. So it's like, but it's not with this person, you know, so it's like, that's what it's saying. Cause it's saying to, you know, it would, it doesn't say get back with your ex and then wait, wedding and engage engagement and wedding. It says release your ex and then engagement and wedding are here. So it either like an ex is getting married and it's like, oh my God, really? You know, after I shaped them into what they should be, of course, somebody else is going to come and, and reap the great benefits or, you know, something like that. Or it is like a third party situation anyway, but this person just keeps coming back into your life, keeps coming back. Um, and I mean, I can't tell you how many swords are here. So, I mean, they could be an air sign, all right? Because there's a ton of the Knight of Swords twice, Page of Swords, Nine of Swords, and none of the good, you know, the Three of Swords, none of the good swords. The only good sword is actually on your side, though, is the Ace of Swords. Cut this out, release your ex, all right? That's what I see. Because it's like, you're in a good position, and this could like ugh, needle away at that again is is what I see. So um, yeah, you have justice here as well. Justice is about mm -mm, you know it's like th this this is not like you know meant to be. You know justice is more about like a karmic situation has been balanced. So don't open up that door again. You know or um, it needs to be you know, balanced. It could be that as well. But again, I would say steer clear, you know, from focusing too much on this person because that's going to make you feel out in the cold. And the thing is your time, you know, that's, it's, it's going to be something a little hard hitting, I feel, but it's like, then there's the ace of cups, then your, your time comes here. All right. Um, okay. So kind of a weird reading. I hope, I hope that made sense. It was, it was I, you know, I'm going to be honest. It's, 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 it was a little bit difficult to navigate that one because I'm not sure if that was about um, something else or if it was about romantic love. I mean, it could even be about business, you know, and you could put it into those terms. But it's, it's like there's something here that, that um, just feels like it could take you, like it, it feels like you're confident and it feels like, you know, the, the sun is shining again and things like that. And then, oh my God, here comes this again, you know, kind of thing. So it's about beating, beating the devil, if you will, whatever that means to you. And I'm not saying a person is the devil or anything like that, but it's like beating whatever, you know, keeps coming back around to take that from you, you know, that, that confidence and that sunshine, that kind of thing. Okay. All right, let's move on. Let's see what's going on for Libras, please. Libra. Libra. What do we have for Libra? Current energy, romantic love reading, please, for Libras. Libra. Okay. Libras, please. What is the message for... I'm going to put that back in the uh, upright. Okay. All right, Libras, let's see what the message is for you. Current energy, romantic love. What is coming up for the Libras, please? Highest and clearest message for our beautiful Libra friends. Libra. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I'm going to reshuffle these because here, uh, there's a quick message I see. If you are a male energy, um, it's like with the Wheel of Fortune and the Strength in the recent past, it's like there is definitely this like... Um, thinking about movement forward, something along those lines, but then the decision to move forward never comes. So it's the five of cups, thinking about all the would have, should have, could have, and all of that. Five of cups is a very much like living in the woe is me energy and not 
taking action to change it. And in the near future, it's like, I feel like there's a lot of like looking from the outside in, you know, outside, but not again, any forward movement. And the four of pentacles is about just like, scared to move forward, scared to do anything different. And so it, it's, it's like, um, there's, there's nothing like going on. It, it, so I'm not going to like continue with this reading because there's like nothing to report. All right. So, and I feel like this is a male energy because like every single card is male, except for this one, um, female energy card that I feel is regardless of gender that you're interested in is somebody that you want to turn the wheel with but there's no like actual action here so I'm going to pull these up and see what else we can get here let's get a message for Libra females please uh what do we have for Libra females what is the message and if you were cross watching, like I said in the beginning, I, you know, I don't highly suggest cross watching, you know, for these videos because there's enough uh, information through your your Venus or your Moon sign or your Rising sign, and like, let's not get crazy and like watch all theirs, and you know, because they're not watching this video, so it's only going to be your energy projected anyway, you know. So it's it's better to just you know stick with. Um, you know, your your placements okay so let's see what do we got for libra please libra females specifically what is the message for libra females please libras all right what can libras expect next seven to ten days intriguing Oh, it's that candle wax. Oh my God, that's so funny. I had candle wax on one of my cards and I, I couldn't get it off and for the longest time and it just dropped off and I, I'm like, oh, <laughs> what the hell's that? And, that? and that's what it is. It was on the Three of Pentacles. <laughs> it just wouldn't go away. <laughs> All right, that's funny. All right, Libra, Libra females, please. What's going on with them? Okay. Hmm. Ooh, all right. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, well, I'm glad I, I gave you guys a separate reading because, yeah, this is this is much better. Um, okay. So, recent past, Seven of Wands, Knight of Swords. I feel like someone was, like, possibly putting a little bit of pressure on you or, or vice versa. It could be the other way around. But there's this, like, kind of blocking energy, like, mm, no, you know, I don't need to be rushed into something or I don't need to be pressured into something. So, I feel like you took your time with a situation, um, you know, that, that kind of deal. Now, in the current energy, you have this King of Wands and the Emperor. So, I mean, you have a couple different energies. I don't, you know, there could be two different males that are showing up for you, or there's someone that is exhibiting two different types of energies here. So, I mean, the Emperor is usually someone a little bit older than us. Um, doesn't have to be, but it, it typically is. And the King of Wands is highly pursuant or getting ready to be highly pursuant. They're very magnetic. The King of Wands is typically magnetic. So I, you either have possibly two different people here or there is like someone who is possibly a little bit old. I think Aries had that in their reading too. I'm pretty sure it was Aries of someone a little bit older that may be acting very pursuant. Okay, so that is showing up here as well. In the near future, you do have a message coming in or a date or um, someone is wanting to... clear the air possibly or take you treat you to something I feel with the page of pentacles and the two of cups I want to see if this is a new energy I'm not sure um you have the queen of pentacles here as your outcome card so I do feel like that you are very focused on groundedness self-care nurturing abundance like those types of things are what are on what is mainly on your mind for the next seven to ten days in a good way um so I don't know I'm not sure if you're going for any of these yeah because see this person may want to like try to like say well but I want to take you to the you know this this great place or something like that and you you may not want to do this is what I'm seeing um but you, you know what you have new messages coming you you have a couple situations i would say if you're single and dating like be particular you know it's like yeah i think this is good it's like just because somebody wants to do something on their time doesn't necessarily mean it works for you and that's fine you know be be sure that you're clear about like those types of things don't don't be pressured you know um that kind of thing because especially you may have like work to do 
And if you have work to do, you've got work to do, you know, kind of thing. And if they don't understand that, because I see this like seven of wands, like the beehive is up here. So it's like, like you may be busy, you know, and it's like, like a busy bee, you know, and this person's saying, yeah, but, you know, yeah, but, yeah, but, you know, I want to take you to do this or that or the other. And it's like, I think they're going to be let down because you have other things to take care of. So they're trying to be the king of wands. And here's the thing, too. This person may have been, like, more of the emperor before. If this is the same person, because the emperor doesn't really move from their, from their throne. They want things to come to them, you know. And it's like, now that you're not doing that, they may be exhibiting these king of wand traits where now they're pursuant, you know. But it's like, I feel like it's too much of, like, a full court press. You're just sort of like, ah, you know. So it's just not the right timing with someone I feel now there may be somebody else coming into your energy here too let me look at this page of pentacles all right tell me about the page of pentacles who is this coming in for libras or you may be interested in pursuing uh, you're interested in pursuing more of a emotional connection not necessarily a king of wands connection so a king of wands is is um not that you wouldn't want that, right? But it's it's all about the magnetism and the and the emperor is sort of like here I am, you know, and that kind of thing. And it's like I get the sense like you are kind of over that, and you're looking for more emotional connectedness, like sincere sincerity. You want the wheel to turn in a positive way, and I feel like you're not entertaining anything that doesn't go that way. Yeah, temperance. You're going to be patient for love. That's uh, perfect. Yep, temperance and the ace of cups. It's, it, it's, you want the cup, <laughs> you know, not, not the wand. <laughs> All right, now, of course, you know, the wand may come into play as, as a different, I'm, being totally silly but but not you know really though it's like I feel like you're more pursuant right now of something that's like you're willing to be curious you're willing to um go out on a date or something like that but it's going to be with somebody who really feels like like a a good like balanced match you know make love not war it says on the card you know you don't want somebody who's like coming in and you know before they were the emperor on the throne just waiting for everything to come to them and then now they're pursuing it's like you, know, you don't want any of those games you want a true soulmate and i feel like that is the advice with the ace of cups here it's like you know yeah it's been a tough cycle wow but you're almost there Oh my God, the sun, beautiful. Yeah, you're going to be happy with things, you know. It's like the sun will come out. But right now, it's about being patient with waiting for the right situation. All right, that's, if you need to be the queen of pentacles for a while and just focus on your stability, things like that, do that. <laughs> that's that's what I see. All right, but you do have interest. I, I do see that around you. Um, okay, so let's move to Scorpio. A Scorpio, sun, moon, rising Venus all those good placements let's see what do we have for scorpios please scorpio scorpio sun moon rising and venus please Messages for Scorpio. Current energy, romantic love. What is coming in for the Scorpios, please? What can they expect? Next seven to ten days. Scorpio. Okay. Woo. All right. So you do have the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck um, coming off the Wheel of Fortune. So I would say something something's about ready to change here fairly soon. Um, you have two threes also. So three could be significant, and that's showing in the near future position. So that could mean um, March because that's the third month. Uh, it could mean like the third of some date or something along those lines. Uh, or it could literally mean three days, three weeks, three months, no longer though. All right. But there is something new and something exciting ahead for you. All right. So in the recent past, you have the seven of pentacles and the high priestess. Um, I feel like someone's, someone's been trying to sort of bust through your barrier, if you will, and, and sort of like, oh, I don't know, is it worth it? You know, I, maybe you're giving them a hard time, Scorpio, or, um, you know, like sort of, um, making them work for it too hard or, you know, something like that 
possibly. And I'm only saying that because I'm a Scorpio too, and I know how we do. All right. <laughs> so um, either that, or it's just, it's a situation that you're just, you're, you're not really like you're focused on other things, you know, and somebody else is feeling like they're putting a lot of work into something. Because see, that's the thing about the Seven of Pentacles to me is sometimes it's a card of feeling like, like, oh my God, I put so much work into that relationship. But, mm, you know, are they, did they really, you know, like they don't really, like they think they did, but mm, maybe they didn't, you know, kind of thing. So I don't know. You have something like that going on here in the recent past. In the current energy, I do see some sort of pursuant energy here. You have the emperor and the page of pentacles. So it does look like someone is like reaching out to you here. This person could possibly be older. For some of you, they could be younger. All right. Um, it depends because we have a page, we have an emperor, you know, could, could work either way. Um, but I do see like someone is going to be communicating with you. All right, in this current energy. So in the near future, this is where it starts kind of getting a little more interesting. You have the three of wands and then the three of pentacles. Now, typically to me, the, the near future position is like mm, around the 10 day mark, you know, seven to 10 day mark, like that, that, you know, current energy is the next seven to 10 days. And then the near future would be a little bit beyond that, right? But this one, I feel like this is probably something that's happening within three months in particular. All right. It may be sooner for some of you. It depends because it's a general reading and timing is going to be, you know, hard to nail. But, you know, you do have this master number 33. So I do feel like three is important. So again, three days, three weeks, three months, something along those lines. There's there's going to be a closer look at is at if this can actually work. All right, that's what I see. So there may be somebody that's in your energy now that by the three month mark, there may be some type of like, wow, can we actually work together? Can we actually make this, uh, you know, gel or what have you? This person could be at a distance or like another culture and or could possibly be someone that you work with in some capacity, which is why the question is there. Like, oh, can we make this work? You know, something like that, because maybe there's rules or, you know, something along those lines. But you do have the Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Wands here. So the Wheel of Fortune is your outcome card, which is an extremely, oops, sorry, hit the mic, auspicious, you know, good luck card of things changing and, you know, starting to happen and turn. And then you have the Ace of Wands, which is like a new adventure, a new passion, a new start. So I do feel like something could be forming now that really takes hold and grows and, you know, moves into different directions here over the next, my guess is three months. Okay. Uh, it looks nice. Looks, looks good. Okay. So that's uh, Scorpio. We are on Sagittarius. All right, Sagittarius. Let's see what's up with you. Um, possible messages coming in from a Taurus or a Leo Sagittarius. Oh, let's see. Like good messages, like enthusiastic messages. Okay. Ooh, something has ended for you in the recent past. Eight of Cups and Justice. So you've decided to like not hold any emotional attachments to something anymore. And you feel like something has been balanced karmically. So you are um, most likely, I would imagine, ready for new things here. Yeah, Page of Wands. So getting curious anyway. <laughs> but a little like apprehensive. Okay. The Strength card. Uh, the Hierophant. Yeah, I, I saw Taurus earlier. Yeah, when I was when I was uh, going through things. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Ten of Cups. Okay, there it is. Um, I think you're 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 embarking upon a journey. Is what I see right now for you. Um, all right. Like I said, I feel like recent past, like something's been settled, sort of karmically, or you've or you've just come to terms with something, you know, and um, decided not to emotionally be attached to it anymore, and and move towards like getting more balanced or something along those lines. It could could have been a Libra. We have Libra, Leo, and Taurus here on this reading here. Um, in the current energy, you have the page of wands and the eight of swords. So some of you are either getting curious about dating again, or curious about a particular person, or 
there's actually someone who is like messaging you, but you're not sure. You're not sure how to respond. Maybe some of you haven't really fully come into your confidence after whatever you just went through. All right. So you may be feeling, a, you know, a little bit like shaky, you know, getting back out there or whatever this is about. Um, whomever, you know, could even be, you know, somebody contacting you from the past and you're like, oh, I don't know. I've got a scared. Should I answer this? Should I not? You know, something like that. But I do see that there is like a curiosity of connecting with someone or someone is curious about connecting with you, all right? Uh, in the near future, you have the strength and the guru card. It's called the guru in this particular deck, but it is the hero font. So I would say, you know, if you need to kind of regain after a situation, like regain your confidence or regain um, like more emotional stability over something that it may be a great idea if, you know, if that sounds good to you, you know, to, to go kind of revisit, um, you know, I don't know if it's necessarily church or, you know, anything like that, but like, like any type of wisdom, um, guide that's helped you before in the past or like a, a place that, that has like a very significant spiritual feeling for you or something along those, even a book, you know, that was like possibly really helpful for you before, maybe revisiting that, you know, in, in the near future here to help you in order to get back your confidence or in, or to help you with like what to do. All right. In a situation. So there's a lot of, um, protection I feel around you, but there's also a lot of just gaining yourself back is what I see here after um, like an emotionally trying period of like eight months, eight years, I don't know, pretty long time here, but something's really like starting to, you know what I'm hearing is that it has been balanced, but you're, you're so used to how this energy was, because it's been eight months, eight weeks, eight years, I don't know, something like that, that it's like, it's hard for you then to like, you know, realize that you're out of that cycle or, you know what I'm saying? Like, so anything that you can do like wisdom wise to like, get back on track is what I see here with the seven of pentacles. So I know that's not like a romantic reading necessarily, but well, it is in, in some ways, you know, the divine romance, right? Um, but that's what I am seeing. But I do think it does tie into romance because whatever this was has kind of like um, left you emotionally bereft in a way. And I feel like the energy has cleansed and and you are ready for new things, but it just feels so unfamiliar not to have that burden with you that you're not sure you haven't found your sea legs again yet is what I what I see here. So I do feel like it's going to be other opportunities coming in. Um, but right now it's more about like getting your... Uh, uh, your strength back in a way and getting back in touch with who you truly are is, is what I see. So it's a little bit of this next seven to 10 days is more like kind of doing the work a little bit more, you know, but on a, on a, not on a shadow side, like that feels like that's balanced on a, how do I re rebuild myself side? All right. That's what I'm seeing. And there's wisdom out there available to you. Um, okay. I mean, besides your own, I mean, you, you know, you have your own, but you know, there's, there's wisdom, other wisdom out there to help you, you know, just serve as a reminder. I do that all the time, all the time, you know, I, all the time, <laughs> you know, it's like, I mean, some stuff is like, yeah, you know, I don't need to read that anymore. You know, it's like, I know all that crap or whatever, you know, but, but some things, you know, not all, you know, sometimes the most simplest self-help book can be the best, you know, or the most helpful or, you know, what have you. You know, don't ever think, oh, I'm beyond that or whatever. It's like, sometimes we all need refreshers. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's go to Capricorn. Let's see what's coming in for you. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. Capricorn, what is the highest and clearest message for the Capricorns about romantic energy that is coming towards you? Capricorn, please. Okay. So the recent past, looks like there could have been talk of someone traveling or coming to see you or a trip or travel, something along those lines. So we have the emperor and the star showing up. The emperor has made an appearance in a couple different ones. I think it was in Aries and I, it, I think it was Scorpios maybe. I'm not sure. Okay. Hmm. Ooh, yeah. All 
All right, hold on. Um, unrequited. Yeah. There, there's an unrequited situation I see coming in or that's around or something along those lines. Um, and it could be because there's not an action taken is, is what I see. So there's two different things here. So there's either a male energy that is coming in or someone is stepping up to something but ultimately, I feel like it's like unrequited love, all right, with the Five of Pentacles and the and the unrequited card here. Like somebody may want to separate or divorce or something like that. Or if you're hoping someone separates or divorces, I don't I don't think that's happening. All right, so especially any offers coming from someone who is already taken or married or anything like that that may show up. Um, I just I feel like it's not gonna like end up being the end all be all kind of situation. Oh, uh, let me clarify this a little bit. Cause you have some good cards. I mean, you have the emperor and the star card, like right in the center. So, you know, this could mean like, Ooh, you know, something um, like a, a wish or, you know, something coming true, something like that. You have the ace of cups and you have the ton of pentacles in the near future. Very good cards. But then this like kind of five of pentacles, unrequited love situation. So let's see. Let's get a little bit more here. Tell me about this emperor and the star. And my only guess is, you know, a lot of this too could be this emperor. Um, there's like some kind of wish here, but ultimately they don't follow through on it. So that's what I'm kind of seeing too. So that's why it could be, you know, it could be so great, you know, the ace of cups and the 10 of pentacles, but ultimately it's like, they don't have the confidence or they feel like, oh no, that won't work or something like that. So let's see, let's get, let's get a little bit more here. Tell me more for this Capricorn reading, please. Yeah, page of cups. Okay. Okay. That could be why. Because a page of cups isn't going to really bring the clarity that somebody seeks. Yeah. Uh, there we go. All right. Because yeah. All right. That, okay. So there's a very strong message. If you are a Capricorn male or male energy watching this reading, there's, could be some really great stuff here, but if you don't take action towards it, it, it will be unrequited love. And it's like, I feel like then you'll be in that, oh, like you'll find excuses why something can't work. All right. And it may have something to do with distance. That's what I'm see, seeing here with the Knight of Cups and the Six of Swords. Um, so, yeah, there's a strong message here. Yeah, there's a lot about distance here with the Two of Wands, the Knight of Swords, like what to do instead. All right. So if you are a male energy and there's someone that is on your mind, the Page of Cups is not going to do it. All right. The Page of Cups is just like fun, flirty, cute, you know, whatever. But it's not taking the steps needed to gain like what this could be. All right, because it's like the Ace of Cups and Ten of Pentacles could mean a very long union with someone, something very favorable, uh, something very solid and like that's not going anywhere. There's loyalty here. There's this, there's that, um, all those good things. But I, what I see is like a male energy here that just never makes the, the choice or the decision to cut out something in their life in order to come come forward and do this. That's what I see. So thus it ends up as unrequited love. And then they feel out in the cold because this didn't do the job, this little page, whatever this was that, that, that they were putting forth. And it's like, well, no, that's not going to do the job, you know? And it's like, so there was a lot of potential here, really, really a lot of potential here. But unfortunately uh, there was, there's just a male who is either refusing to, um, cut something out of their life in order to head towards you um, or they are just thinking about it but never doing anything except like going, oh, hey, how are you? You know, and, and but not like not making any efforts, you know, to actually obtain what could be. So to me, this is a very much uh, what could have been reading. All right. Is is what I am seeing here. And that sucks for you guys. Um but I don't feel like this male is making the efforts, you know, so, and, you know, if you're, regardless of what gender, you know, if you're a female and regardless of what in, uh, gender, you know, you're interested in here, again, it's like, this is very much a reading of 
there could have been something very, you know, very strong, a lot of potential, a lot of longevity here, a lot of stability here, you know, but you know, if, if they just keep coming at you with, you know, Hey, what's up, you know, Capricorn, you know, it, it's, it's never going to see that light. So I feel like mm, I wouldn't spend too much time. And especially if this person is married. All right. Especially if this person is married, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't get to, you know, it's, it's hard. I know it's easy for me to say, you know, but I would not allow, you know, myself, you know, to get too involved with this situation, you know, um, unless, unless, you know, they actually are coming forward like in a strong and mature way, but I don't, I don't think they are. All right. I, I, yeah. So, uh, sorry about that Capricorn. That sucks. All right. Let me see what the advice is for you. Okay. Um, let's see. All right. What is the advice for Capricorn, please? Capricorn. What is the advice for Capricorn? Oh, my God. Okay. What about the advice for Capricorn females? What is the advice for Capricorn females, please? Yeah, to see that this person, it just holds back. They're a knight of wands. Yep. Okay. Oh, there you go. Yeah. All right. I feel like you need to manifest, like, what makes you happy, um, females. All right. Because, again, like, when I look at this, <laughs> the advice is, you know, there's there's male energy here or, or that just, like, sort of, they they check out your social media or something like that. Um, they, they At night, they think about you, you know, that kind of thing. But ultimately, like intuitively, you know, like they're not going to do anything, you know. So it's like I feel like it, that, yeah, it's, that's why it's unrequited love. Now, as for you, um, this is, I feel, what could be. Again, Knight of Wands, Four of Wands, Star Card, Ten of Cups, Six of Wands. All kinds of good stuff going on there. All right. But it's like that's not coming from this person. So, I mean, the potential is here, but it's, it's not... Um, it's not forming with someone who's not making these types of efforts. And these types of efforts, in case you don't know what all these tarot cards mean, are very bright and positive and forward movement cards. All right. So they're like, you know, moving towards happiness, moving towards stability, moving towards togetherness, um, you know, being enthusiastic. Uh, you know, they have their confidence, you know, all those types of things. And that it's, a, you know, you have all those things. Thus, you know, you guys make a great power couple. All right. But it's like, that's not showing up you know so if it's not showing up with this person then don't give up it will show up with someone else that's what i see <laughs> all right um, okay uh let's see so that was oh capricorn we are on we are on aquarius now all right aquarius okay aquarius aquarius please what is the message please for aquarius sun moon rising venus any placement aquarians Current energy, romantic love. Ooh, Nine of Pentacles coming out. Okay. Ooh, Queen of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. Ooh, some kind of news coming in. Okay. Okay, some kind of plan could be, like, starting that could really, like, planning could really help <clears throat> your future immensely. Like, bring a wish come true or something like that. Um, or being patient with an earth sign. Okay, so let's see. So you have the Nine of Pentacles here and the Queen of Pentacles in the recent past. So there's either, like... Um, possibly like dealings with like a mother here with the queen of pentacles or like uh, another female or it could you know it could be a female female thing i don't know we got everything here we got males females what have you but you do have two female cards in the recent past so i would just say something about your independence and like your groundedness and your stability has has been on the uh on theme in you know the recent energy coming into the current energy you have the page of pentacles and the knight of swords so i do feel like there's either pressure to uh communicate with someone or someone's pressuring you to study something or something along those lines right i don't know i feel like there's quick moving energy here i don't think it's aggressive like anger i'm not getting that so we'll, we'll clarify that because i'm not sure if it's saying oh my god like hurry up and you know do this because this will be good or if it, maybe it is pressure. So we'll clarify that momentarily. The near future, you have the 10 of wands and the three of pentacles. 
So it's like there's some kind of like, you know, long road here. But that's like worth it, okay, that I see with the three of pentacles showing up at the end. I feel like this is possibly about studying something because you've got a lot of pentacles here, a lot. You've got this page of pentacles, you have this three of pentacles, your outcome card is the four of pentacles, you have the knight of pentacles <laughs> and the hermit shining the light on the knight of pentacles and then showing that, the, yeah, and then the empress and then showing that this could be your manifestation, the nine of cups. So there's something about like kind of slow and steady wins the race kind of deal, but not in love. Like I'm not seeing that in love, I'm seeing that in like, um, stability. All right. So I feel like that's a stability message for you. I mean, if it's love, I, I, I feel like you, you may be dealing with somebody who just consistently like holds back. They don't open up. Um, you know, and it's like, you may be on this, like kind of, you know, this always reminds me of the talking head song, you know, we're on the road to nowhere, <laughs> you know, it's like, cause there it is, it's basically the road to nowhere. It, it's, I mean, you, you eventually end up somewhere, but it's like hoping, even though the same thing is going on every day, hoping that things will work out, that kind of thing. Well, you know, this person just keeps holding themselves back. But for many of you, I feel like it's more, it's not a romantic reading. I think that this is a reading about like your stability, your security. There could be another female involved. There's a plan. Um, there's um, something here that you are trying to obtain. You're trying to hurry also. So let me see what this is about. Okay, tell me about the Knight of Swords, please. <clears throat> Yeah, all right. Yeah, making decisions here, but not seeing that something else is the problem. Okay, so some of you may be trying to make a decision about certain things, but what the real problem is, is something needs to be put into moderation. All right, so it's like, I feel like you may be presenting something to someone and you're trying to like get them to hurry, get them to make a choice and get them to work with you with something. You may have some idea or you, you may be, um, there may be an investment that you're interested in or something like that. Um, I, I think it's good. I, it'd be, I would be careful that you are making this decision for the right reasons, that it truly is an investment and that it truly is for your stability, that it's not to like win someone back or it's not to solve a, a, a love situation or something like that. If it is for your stability and that is genuine, then yes, I think that that is um, like a really good move. All right, that's what I see. All right, but if there's something where you are thinking, oh, well, if I take this job or if I take this, uh, this, or if I do this, and then I can, I can somehow get myself into so-and-so's life. It's like, no, you know, that's, that's not working. All right. That's what I see. So make sure that if it is like something you want to study or something that you want to move towards or something you want to invest in or something like that, that literally is from an investment point of view. All right. And I feel like that could be very, very good. All right, like that, that has a lot of potential. But if it's for, like I said, the wrong reasons, it's like that's not what needs, what the problem is. So you may be thinking that will solve, like if it's, if you're doing this for like some kind of love situation, the problem most likely is um, too much indulgence in something. And that's what needs to be sort of, uh, that's like, that's not what you're, that's like what you may not, what you, may not be seeing about why something ended is because there was too much overindulgence in something and not enough temperate behavior, you know, temperate uh, situation. All right. So it's a very specific message, um, extremely specific message. So that, you know, is coming out. I don't know if that's for all of you, but I would say the most of you that the, the energy here is that there is um, some excitement building around a, a stable plan. And I, I say, I think that looks very good. All right. So that other part is probably only for like one person out there, that other thing. All right. So let's see. Um, we are on uh, Pisces. Okay, Pisces. Let's see what's up, Pisces. Pisces. Pisces, please. What is the current energy romantic message for Pisces? Pisces. 
Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is the message, please, for Pisces? Current energy, romantic love. Thank you. All right. King of Swords, Ace of Swords. Wow. Ten of Wands, Three of Pentacles. Okay. The Fool card. Go for it. Go for it, Pisces. That's what I see. Divine timing. Yep. You, you go get it. All right. That's... The, <laughs> all right. So, recent past, Pisces, King of Swords, Ace of Swords, uh, I don't know, there could have been, like, some separations, divorce, um, somebody just being cold, not really uh, uh, communicating in a positive way or in a very heartfelt way or something like that. Going into the current energy, you know, you have the Ten of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. So there's, I just said this in Aquarius reading, you know, on the road to nowhere, right? Um but like still hoping, you know, that, that if you hang in there, things will be worked out. All right. That's what I see. There's some kind of energy here of someone hanging on to the idea that it, it's like, if they just keep putting one foot in front of the other, somehow everything's going to work out. Um, I think there's an opportunity coming towards you to consider. All right. I don't, you know, that could be good. You have the full card. You have the four of wands here at the bottom of the deck. Your, the full card is your outcome card. So in this reading, which is about taking leaps of faith, going for things, that sort of thing. You have the Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords showing up in the near future. So someone could be coming in quickly, all right? Or an opportunity could be coming in quickly. Uh, this could have something to do with a date uh, or, uh, or just like, you know, stepping up conversations, something like that. But it's like, it does feel like, like there's someone's like wanting to speed things up or move a little bit more quickly is what I am seeing here. Um, now the full card is literally about new starts, clean slates, um, taking like healthy, healthy risks, but you know, with faith, with faith that things are going to work out. You do have the four of wands here. Um, there could be an opportunity also to like go somewhere and study something or go somewhere and, uh, you know, like visit someone, maybe somebody from a distance is coming to visit you that could be coming up here too, as well. So yeah, you have express your love here. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. That's what I'm feeling with this, this reading here. There's been a vibe through like of some of these, like placements of like someone and especially more of a male energy that needs to express something. All right, because it's like, if not, they're gonna miss out. That's what I see. They're, they're gonna miss, miss like an opportunity. Now take that, you know, I mean, uh, you know, if you're a male energy watching this, that does not necessarily mean it's absolute. This is a general reading, but that it, it's coming up in several placements here. So I don't know if you're watching several of these or something along those lines, but I can't make that message any clearer. There's definitely something here about expressing yourself. Time is of the essence. Don't let things drag on any longer. Um, you know, that kind of thing. All right. Because, you know, it could end up, you know, mi missing the boat if you don't. All right. So you're there's something here being um, urged about that, especially if you're male energy. Not that females, you know, aren't, you know, can't do this as well. And in fact, that may be the message for you females as well to, um, you know, kind of open the door a little bit more for something. Like if there's been a work connection, like I'm almost getting that, that kind of like remains of the day vibe, you know, that movie from like the 90s or, well, it's based on a famous um, uh, novel, but um where it's like, you know, there's like this tension between the two, but like nothing ever really comes into fruition because nobody acts on it. And so there may be like something where, you know, like let somebody know you're interested or let someone know you're available or something like that that's that's coming into play. Um, but mostly I feel like this is like being clear. All right. Like there's some, there's definitely a message here about like, yeah, now, <laughs> you know, that that's what I'm getting with this express your love. Yeah. Um, you also have let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. And yeah, this could be the one. And then very soon. So I like, yeah, I do feel like there's an urgency a little bit to this. 
And the let your friends help you can be like your angels, you know, or guides or what have you. So if you're looking for love, you know, I do feel like then, you know, let your friends help you, you know, again, your higher friends if need be, or let your friends set you up with someone or, you know, anything along those lines is like, I think it could really turn things around for you. As long as you're willing to take a leap of faith, the four of wands is here, you know, and four of wands is a very good card. It's alluding to like a really good, comfortable relationship that could possibly go further. All right. So. I'd, I'd say this could be good. And especially with this could be the one here as well. So nice. All right. That's what I have for you guys. Hope you enjoyed your reading. I will see you guys Monday, if not sooner, but I'll definitely see you Monday for the week ahead, you know, more general spread and, you know, obstacles, things to embrace, all that good stuff. All right. So take care guys. Thank you so much. And I'll see you soon. All right. Bye. <laughs>